Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Growing Pains podcast. We are joined by myself and Fizzle K. Hi, everyone. Yes, now. How's your week go. been? <laughs> it's been good. What are you doing right now? I'm curling my eyelashes. For audio listeners, we um, have uh, some girl things happening. I just have to stay slay. You've knocked an eyelash out, though. It's on your <gasps> cheek. Yeah. Blow it. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, I just cool. felt my nail just like scrape the roof of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These uh, are claws again, at the minute. I need them I've done. Just, I've whacked just the whole finger in my, my throat. Finger. Um, That's probably bad luck now. Really? Yeah. Well, we are back. Yep. Uh, how back you... and better than ever. How was your weekend? Oh, that click was lovely. I'm old. Um, <laughs> oh, deep throat by the mic again. Can I have a new mic, please? This, this one doesn't love me. Look, uh... It actually loves you too much. It loves me too yeah. much. It wants to get in my mouth. Um, what did you do this weekend? I know, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> uh, what did I do Saturday? I don't know if I... You played with horses for a day for oh, a long yeah, time. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Since our arguments last week, <laughs> yeah, Faith, I was, I've Faith been allowed like... outside. <laughs> I officially touched grass. You touched grass. You, and you... I petted my horses. I was yeah. like, whoa, who's this uh, stranger? And I'm also, like, I'm actually your mum. You self-admittedly womaned in the field too. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> listen, we didn't need to talk about that. So that Faith was, was playing. Actually... Faith was playing horses. Yeah. Uh, she went out there. Olive was asleep. So she went out there yeah. and was down there for like three hours or so, but decided in these three hours or so to get the quad bike out. maintenance. Yeah, to get the big quad bike out. Attach so, the harrow to let, it. Let me, let, me, let me interrupt. So since these people ruined our field, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do they know that? Was that on a podcast? Yeah, and they keep asking me to stop talking about it. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. But yeah. you've ruined my field. Well, we haven't named anyway, the company. No, no, but their license plate was in my video, oh, but that's right. not my problem. Their girlfriends reshared it. Anyway, so they've torn my field to shit and the ground is getting softer, but I didn't know, because you can't quite harrow it when it's too dry because yeah. it's not going to work, but then you can't when it's too wet. And it looked okay by the gate and I was down there and it was great and then I got stuck. <laughs> and then I had to unhitch the harrow. But then as I was coming through the gate as well, I walloped the gate with a quad bike and I broke the gate. But luckily that kicked back in. Yeah, not properly though. No, that needs a man's kick. There's right. only so far I can welly something. Mm. I am just a girl. So... We've got a broken gate. Yeah, so within like three minutes, essentially what <laughs> happened is I broke the gate of my quad bike and then I also got stuck in the got field. Got chain link but stuck, which I is didn't, heavy, by the way. Like, that listen, is heavy. Yeah, that's why it's still down the field. So yeah. all, all the quad bike was actually fine. It just couldn't pull the weight of the yeah. um, harrow. So I could get out without doing any damage to the field. Mm. Um, so I just unhooked it and just left. What really made me laugh about that is, again, we'll probably try and send you the pictures for this prop. Yeah. But, uh, Faith whacked. We've got orange cones at our house. We've got rose cones. Faith whacked an orange cone on it like any passerby is going to go oh we need to avoid the chain link arrow it's a hazard we have deers in the field of what and they're going to go oh that's a hazard do you think the deer looks at an orange cone and goes that's a hazard or oh, maybe and I don't know how long that's got. I can't move it. Not, I've got to rely on I've got to rely on some, some, some strong men to pull that out I've, and I I've know managed, you won't do it, no, hence why I've, I put I've, it in I've the actually, group chat for my dad. No, I've moved that before with my bare hands. Yeah, I don't when, know if you could do it in no, my When Matt was here, uh, I had to move it. With get my bare Matt hands. does fitness back and then tr both try and put he it out. Enjoyed, he harrowed your Menards for you. Yeah, well, get him back because now the harrow's stuck. Matt does fitness. If you you're should, watching this, you should I've got let, a stuck um, harrow. You should let some of your stable date people harrow things because it's no, just getting the job done. No. So I can, the people know. So my next guest on stable dates, which will be this Sunday's video, is Danny Aaron's. And you think I'm letting Danny Aaron's hook up my quad bike? Yeah. That is with content. a harrow on the back that's and content. then drag it around my manage. Yeah, that, that's content. No. Yeah, he's doing a job no. for you though, mate. No. Well, either way, yeah, you womaned hard with that. That was quite funny. Yeah, it wasn't my best three minutes of womaning. No, I've ever but done. yeah, you pig oiled your horse. Do you want to explain what that does? Yeah, yeah. So essentially pig oil, um, it's kind of like, it's so slippy. Yeah, sorry. I, I I wore your coat to do that. So it doesn't need to go to dry cleaner. I'm well aware you've been wearing my coat. Yeah, that won't <laughs> come out without a professional wash. Sorry. Really nice um, represent coat too. They hook you up. Hook him up. Represent. They actually stopped. It's actually quite big. I broke or dropped. <laughs> I'm not surprised, funny. but I rock up like places like this now. I'm not surprised, but uh, bro, I got dropped. Represent. I still wear it. Yeah. You send it to me. I got dropped, bro. I got so, all, the, all the old collections. Yeah, you did. So Pablo, I, I thought, right, let me knuckle down, <laughs> you horrible bastard. I'm going to groom him. Um, 
and I did. He only tried to kill me three, four times, which That's is positive. really, really positive, actually. He's only on two types of karmas as well, so we're getting there. Um, but Piggle, essentially, you can, he, Pablo has really long mane and tail, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, but where it's wet in the field, they're all muddy at the minute. Mm. So you put pig oil in and it stops the mud from being able to stick to their coat. Yeah, and it just falls out. Nice. And also it stops his mane matting because it's got so much oil you can just... Wow. Yeah. Bro's got a better hair routine than me. Yeah, yeah, he has. But yeah, he's uh, worth it. The naughty horse we're we're now treating like a dog. Thanks, so, uh, for laughing. <laughs> so now when he lets you touch him properly and nicely, yeah. he gets a treat. So I've had to, I've had to come up with a bit of positive reinforcement with this horse mm. because I've struggled with him for a while. I've actually booked onto a horse holiday in two months with my mum and my previous stable friends. And I'm not taking a horse. No, I've got four horses and I've not got one I can put a saddle on and be like, let's go. Because Kelly's lame. I'm really happy for you going on this holiday. It's only for three days, mate. No, I know. I'm really happy for you. It's going to be really nice for you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be lovely. Yeah, because you get a house on your own. I'm leaving the dogs. <laughs> the dogs aren't coming. No, that's fine. Yeah? I can live with them. They're my boys. You see me and Rolo now. Me and Rolo have Yeah, but evolved. you exile Hades. No, I don't. I you treat do. him very nicely, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. Um, um, yeah, that was fantastic nice news him. yesterday. Okay. Rude. Um, but yeah, so I've got four horses and I can't even take one because Kelly hurt her leg, so she's been out of action for two months. And then Pablo... I feel I've really not, scammed by I've, that I've, I've, I've not sat on Pablo for months, so I couldn't just risk it. Yeah. Because he's so, last time I sat on him, he's so lazy, he doesn't move. And I've tried to do the old follow a horse. I had someone come by Cali when we first got him. Because usually horses, they're herd animals, they follow. Bro just stood there. Yeah, it was very funny. So it'll, it'll go one horse. of two ways. They'll either all go and I'll be <laughs> in the starting position. I'll wait three hours in walk. Mm. Or he'll bomb off and do, but because there's children coming on on this horse holiday, I'm, I said to my mum, I don't want to risk it because he is technically still quite dangerous yeah. and I don't, I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. Mm. So, but like you say, positive reinforcement and I know people don't like the whole treat thing, but he is a greedy bastard, right? He doesn't Very get food, fed, yeah. fed a lot of food, but the only way he started to let me touch his body is when I was revo- rewarding him with treats. Yeah. So then he'll eventually hopefully go oh it's good because if she do- if i let her touch me i'm gonna get something good out of this yeah so and then hopefully once he's then calmed down he thinks oh this isn't so bad and then you start to pat him instead of feeding him all the time oh but yeah i do want him to come right because i do like him i think he's funny he's just such he's a meaty funny. bastard there's nothing funny about it <laughs> well it wasn't funny when he ran my stable girl down and bit her no, in the back that no. wasn't funny yeah but no, he's just a he's a he's a naughty naughty horse. So I don't want to give up on my horses. It's like my love hate with Dora because she's such a feral bitch. Honestly, she really is, isn't she? She really winds me up. But then the next day she'll let me touch her, and I think, oh, that went so bad. And then it's just a repeated cycle. I don't mind cycle. that. She's alright. It's just a repeated cycle of, yeah. oh, you bitch, come here because she runs away. Don't let me touch her. And then it's like she knows in her head, oh, I've got to let her touch me. Otherwise, mm. Mum's not gonna like she this. Do some football talk. <sighs> sure. Was that too much horses? Way too much. Uh, <laughs> you said pig oil, and I just got all into it. You just fucking ran away with oh, it. Uh, we spent three horse. hours talking about horses now as well. Yeah, uh, it's what happens when you let me go outside. Yeah. So I t- I went out and touched grass on in the morning yesterday. As per. Yeah, every morning, every Sunday <laughs> every, morning, every Sunday, every Sunday, I touched grass. Yeah. Really awful grass this week. The pitch was vile. Wet grass. Oh, it was no, but it wasn't just wet. It was like <laughs> bumpy. Oh, awful! You couldn't even like get a harrow on that. Yeah, you, they do need to harrow that. Yeah, but then it will be literally like mud pile. Mm. Um, it was a very it, it, this team's not the best team in the league, but we we always do this. We play really well against fucking good teams, and then the worst teams we sort of just fucking go down to their level. So they went one nil up, then we scored. Then our keeper gets sin binned for 10 minutes. So we whack our fucking right back in goal. <laughs> he then comes out, tries to punch a ball. The geezer head as it. We go 2-1 down. Then we equalise again. And then we they they get a man sent off, by the way. The geezer has already been booked. We play a ball through. He literally goes like that, handballs it. The ref goes to book a different person. No way. We're like, ref... <laughs> that's nuts yeah ref you've booked the wrong man it's the he's green boots green boots has handballed it he's already booked and he goes oh yeah I fucked up then he sends him off yeah. but then the, they've got 10 men they score Wow. and we only have a few minutes left uh, we get a corner I think it was literally probably like one of the last three kicks of the game uh, I'm on the keeper mm. just doing the dark arts the dark arts I am I put my hands here so the ref thinks I'm doing nothing but really I was slamming my bum into him yeah. Yeah. I have that. Yeah. Go on. 
It was, can it was, be a little bit frozen. It's a little bit homosexual. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I said I said in the chat afterwards. I said, can I get an assist for being a little bit homosexual? Because <laughs> like I was bumping and grinding on this keeper. That uh, doesn't shock but me. But then they they whipped the ball in and we scored directly from the corner. Oh, wow! So three three, really exciting game. But yeah, I'm I've I've got gluteus maximus problems, haven't I? Yeah, you do. So I keep drilling my bum out at the minute. Mm -hmm. That needs context. Yeah, uh, you know, like the massage guns or whatever. I, oh, like even now, it's still tight. Fuck yeah, it's tight. All, all, all your listeners are getting a treat right now. Uh, you know them like muscle guns or whatever. I have to sit there and fucking like just rail it. I still it. think you've got a bigger bum than me, you know. I don't have a bigger bum. Faith, I've got an extended hamstring. D define where the bum starts. Go on, look. If oh, you, I can see it. You can you can see it? Yeah. yeah, but that's embarrassing. Most people, look, Harry's would be all caked up and out here. Yeah. But that, that look, that there, yeah. that's grim. Um, but yeah, at the minute, I'm suffering with old age muscle tightness. Oh, boring. All right, should you're we go You're 28, to... seven. 28, you're 28. And when's my birthday? June 20th. Well done, it's finally clicked. <laughs> um, I have to go on Facebook. You're the one that fucking makes me feel bad for being old. You, no, like, I don't. Yeah, out of nowhere, when we sat on the sofa and you go, Ugh, you're actually like 29 this year. That's Yeah, that's grim. because I'm fresh meat. I'm so young. Like you're nearly 30. I'm not even 25 yet. You're bad to me. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You've got the Harry denial of age. Yeah, because it's bollocks, right? So I had my 21st in COVID. Yep. No, no, my 20th and my 21st was in COVID. And then um, for my 22nd, I got pregnant. And then I had a baby by my 23rd. And now I'm 24 and I don't know what's happened. I've blinked and I've lost four years. And I'm a mother. Yeah, but again, I was fucking 24 when I met you. Yeah, now I'm 25. And I'm like, youthful... well, hang on a minute. I don't really feel like that's fair. I've just lost four I was years. A youthful specimen. Uh, should we talk more about you then? Because uh, oh, yeah. that's what the doctor This is good. Uh, you... It's all about me. Uh, well, actually, the Sidemen did a house oh, makeover. That's not me. Sidemen did a house makeover for two people. Yep. Did you watch the video? No. <laughs> You showed me what happened. Imagine my shop. It's really wholesome. Yeah. It was, it was uh, but really when cool. I say I don't watch YouTube. Yeah, you don't. I don't watch YouTube. She doesn't know how to do YouTube either. So everything you see on her channel, it's she doesn't know me. how to upload a video. No. So yeah. None of it's me. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, we did a makeover for two fans. One side was up like, really wholesome and one side was really troll. But that that's the day that I overslept. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this shoot, we had to be there at like eight, quarter past eight in the morning. It was fucking Aylesbury. It was miles away. Um, and our, and our in-house alarm clock honestly, our in-house alarm clock just, just decided <laughs> to sleep until 10am so I woke up at I think half eight to my phone ringing next to my head going and I just put it down and I woke up didn't I, I tapped you and went I'm supposed to be there now. Yeah, and then he got down the road and went, Faith, can you put the bins out? And I was like, Yeah, because I saw everyone with their bins out, mate. That was just a day of hell. Because that is not a girl job. <laughs> I'm just a girl. It's all wet and smelly. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we did that video. Everyone go and watch it because it is really wholesome. It's got like a fun aspect. It's got the side men aspect I of like us. I haven't seen the other boys' side. I'm, I'm going to look good. at, it yeah, I want to see the wholesome one because um, I've only seen the Barbie one. Look at this, by the way. That's fucking naughty. Audio listeners, I'm going to describe it for you. We have a croissant that is sliced in two, filled with cheese and ham. Us and cheese. Uh, the outside of this croissant is very golden brown, looking really nice. Should the I cheese take an is... ASMR? Go on, Shut then. up. Wait, I don't want to... Huh? No. Mmm. <laughs> Them teeth really add to it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You're getting muted, mate. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, people agreed in the comments that you are autistic. That's so rude. It's not rude. It's not rude. No, because people, as a girl with autism... I also see similar traits in Faith and I think... I saw some people getting upset. They're like... But I, like I said... We're not laughing No, at, we're not laughing at... Name, I, I think everyone is slightly... Especially YouTubers. I think YouTubers are all slightly oh, spectrum inclined. This was it. Someone said I has, have Asperger's, not autism. That's, okay, this is going to sound funny, right? My mum, growing up, in secondary school, thought I had Asperger's. You had it or she had it? Me? Um, yeah. <laughs> I've got I've got the attention deficit. I don't have the hyperactive because I can't bother being a hyperactive. Mm. But I can't focus on fuck all. Yeah. <laughs> my brain doesn't do that. Mm. I constantly... Yeah, I never have a minute silence in my listen, head. Listen, and can I just say for the people that were actually upset about it, 
I didn't actually go on to Google to confirm if I had autism or not because people were like, can't you go on Google and then just to see if no. you're autistic? Like, I don't think I'm autistic. It was because everyone online, like spectating online, keeps calling me. You autistic. do show signs though. When we went through the NHS one, you hit like seven of nine. Okay, well maybe I'll go and see if I'm diagnosed then. See, <coughs> see if I resemble diagnosis. I don't resemble know. diagnosis. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, and someone else the other week, this one's just pure rude. When will she learn that acting dumb isn't cute? She just does it to impress boys. No, Number Faith one, says... No, I don't. If Faith I don't says, like men. Faith says that she... Uh, this is all... A, People, it's all a ploy. She, she does this. She's actually really smart, but she's having you all along. This just goes against my whole point I just made <laughs> of me saying... You said saying, it the other week, though. You was like, I'm actually just like letting on less than I actually know. Yeah, because listen, if people think I'm stupid, they underestimate me and then I'll just swoop in. For what? Snipe them. I don't, well, well this, this is it. Test me. Go on, test me right now. What's four times seven? Why did you have to do maths? I'm what's four I've times got this calculator. What? That doesn't count. Then what's four times seven? Seven, 14, 21, 28. <laughs> but, no, 28. Uh, 28. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was going to keep going until I seven. I know you was. I yeah. don't know why. Uh, nine times nine. 81. Oh, here she is. Yeah. Well done. That's because I taught you that recently. No, you didn't. I did. We don't just sit down and do our fucking times tables, <laughs> mate. <laughs> uh, you did a come down with me video. Oh, yeah, I did. I enjoyed that one. Yeah? Yeah. But the Instagram post didn't go down well, did it? No. I, I, uh, I, do you know what's funny? When I wrote the comment for that Instagram post, so essentially it's, it's um, Sydney, who is black male model, okay? Yeah. Me in the middle and Ethan. You're saying so, black, black male model. He's Charlie's friend. You haven't just plucked him out of thin air. It's a friend of a friend. Yeah, but yeah, that's how yeah, he yeah. identified himself okay, in my video. Right, so that's yeah, how yeah. I'm going okay, yeah, from it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't scout him from anywhere. <laughs> um, but I was going to put in my Instagram bio, because I was like two chefs and Ethan, I was going to put in brackets, not a porno, but I thought... That's an overstep, but I just could already kind of see the comments lining up a little oh, bit. Yeah, and now did, Ethan's yeah. like, oh, no, not Ethan. The people in the comments are like, oh, Ethan, your cuck behaviour. How can you let a black man in her home with your white girlfriend? And I'm like, whoa, this is just pure racism. <laughs> the are like, did he just sit and watch? Well, yeah, yeah. they cooked me a dinner. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like, uh, it was all right, though, that video. It was good. Comment on Faith's latest video with a lot of likes, asking you both to do the Hot Ones challenge. Would no, you I'm do not it? Who would it. win? No. So, I would win. I purposefully didn't like that comment. I would win. <laughs> Faith is absolutely... Faith might... F it depends what day you catch her on, but she could find ketchup me, spicy. I think it would give me chest pain and I'd die. Yeah, no, she, she gets really like... Some barbecue sauce here. I don't want to say it, but some barbecue sauce is spicy. Yeah, so that's the level we're at. Like KFC barbecue sauce makes Your my family's lips just not really good with it. Like Hugh's awful with spice. Your, Connor's all right. You see how white my veins are? Yeah, Connor's all right. White my veins are. Yeah, we've got no Caribbean in this blood. Right. We are Irish. We are uh, We are not well, well equipped for spice. Right. You're having a real issue talking today. I am. <laughs> and do you know what? I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi downstairs. Oh, this is funny. We're going to talk about downstairs. There's a little calf downstairs. Um, I was trying to connect to the Wi-Fi for ages. Should have refreshed the screen. It took me like seven minutes before I realised I was on Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, I also went to the toilet and asked for a coconut water. Yeah. And Faith and then purchased I went, me uh, a yeah, coconut water. Yeah, and I went water. three drinks because he went a tumour at turmeric shot or ginger shot whatever and yeah. then you went and a coconut water coconut so water. i said free drinks you said yeah and i was like god that's greedy so i went and got him his ginger shot and a and a coke and a water yeah coconut water and he said did you get my coconut water and i said no i got your <laughs> coke and a <the> water yeah. <laughs> Horror. so there's the coke and here's the water yeah, but no coconut water <laughs> no um I'm yes, I, d I doubt that we'd do the hot ones because Faith would die. Uh, and no. you get all like hyper y and be like, oh my God, Ethan, I think I'm actually passing away. Oh, this has given me some sort of tumour. Yeah, I've got really bad anxiety. Yeah. Um, Especially when it makes my body feel funny. I think I'm going to die. Uh, people were also coming at you about your hobbies. Apparently. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you told them to suck their mums, didn't you? When? I don't know. I've not said that in ages. No, but that, you mean that though, don't you? When? I don't know. Um... Either way. I've not come at anyone. I did in my private story. They can't see that. <laughs> uh, vape ban comes into play this week. Yeah, I'm actually... Good. I'm, I'm for that. This is good. Yeah. Vaping is for fucking weirdos. Yeah. And losers. Right. So, it's got really... I think it's just... 
for me, I don't like it as a parent because there's <laughs> it's so many young kids do it because it, it tastes like fucking strawberries. Go if and have are, a fag and breathe you, in the fucking toxic, dirty smoke if you want to be a hardcore. If you're listening to this right now with a stupid fucking elf bar or some sort of they make fucking, it a fucking personality you. trait. Yeah. If you're sat there and you're puffing on it whilst listening to this, I want you to know that you're a fucking loser. Like, I just hate it a lot. And people <laughs> our age as well, oh, where's my vape? I just need you the vape. You think you're cool up. puffing this stupid thing in your gob? Well, guess what? I hope it blows your lips off. That's because you like, deserve it. probably it. could, though. Overheat, no, I know, exactly. they cause yeah. fires. Yeah, yeah especially with pencil. the amount they're chuffing on them as well. Fuck okay. mm. <laughs> Yeah. They're really tell bad. You, yeah, it's bad, mate. Um, I'm for that. Uh, I'm that, bored of walking though, through it? fucking strawberry clouds and all. <laughs> That's you think good. you're getting a donut shop around the corner and it's just fucking Jeremy with his fucking... Vape. Yeah. Uh, Carl Walker cheating on his wife. How does he have the time? Don't know who uh, Carl Walker Carl is. Carl Walker is a Manchester City footballer. Oh, right. He... Are we shot then? <laughs> Footballers cheat on their missus. This is not new news. <laughs> the headline. <laughs> Are we uh, shot? If, 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 if I'm you know a it, footballer's no, what wife, it is. yeah... I nah, didn't see anything. No, nah, but what, what what it is about this is, is I just close my eyes. So he was with a wife. They Do had a child, breakfast? and then uh, and then he he had a child with that Lauren Goodman. Mm -hmm. uh, bought her a mansion as right. well, not with her. Just oh. put them up in a mansion. Nice. It was like it was just baby mum. This is what I'm saying. Um, Can't but see. then then apparently he's now he's now having an, another one, and uh, and in his son interview he said it was a mistake, and the comments are just like. What, do you slip and fall yeah. into this woman? Bro, it, was, stru again. it was strong winds last week. He, yeah, he, he got blown bro into someone a, else's vagina. Bro it took happens. a tumble. I mean, Carl Walker is like one of the least shocking ones. Show me a picture of him. You ain't you sure you'll know Carl Walker. Do you like skin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Google. Uh, Kyle Walker. Insert elevator music. That one. You would have seen him. That one. That one. It's not very nice. Zoom in. I can't see. That one. Oh, you right. Yeah. So he's he, he's been he's just been porking, man. He's really good at football, but um, really quick. Yeah. Yeah. He's just been porking and having children, and uh, now decided to do a son interview, which is uh, out of all places. To yeah. Do well, uh, listen, I'd at least want to start with the Daily Mail. But yeah, again, he's one of the least shocking ones because, like, you can tell that he. Hit, he, he he likes to host a party mm. and uh, a good party, so I think he's just a little bit of a loose cannon. But yeah. listen, Carl Walker, I uh, just I just think like because he he ain't buff, right? I just think no footballers really, unless Harlan Harlan's different gravy. I just think all the footballers are ugly, other than Erlen Harland. They're not though, Giroud. Oh, Giroud. Oh, there's that Chelsea player actually. Ruben Loftus Cheek. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, Ruben Loftus Cheek he's a is like stunning man. He is boohoo man yeah. model. He, yeah, he is beautiful. He's hot. But there's like a slim few on people that are actually good. Yeah, looking. Olivier Giroud is different gravy, mate. That that's like that's like. Olivier I would set Ruben as my home screen. Oh well. <laughs> Olivier Giroud is like, this is a handsome man. If he walked into a... Go and show me. We don't have the same typing, man. No, we don't. If he walked into like, say we was in Mykonos and he oh, walked in. Oh, here we in. go. The same. You have been fantasising about this man ever since we left. Man. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah. type is just a heavily bearded man, Not even. a heavily bearded man. A little bit of a tan. Just fucking look at him. He looks better from that angle, but bro it's is, not from me. Bro is hot. No, it's not from... That's, bro, bro is hot. That's genuinely Ethan's type. Bro is hot. If anyone looks, I feel like if they look a little bit Greek or he's that's French. Ethan's. He's French. What, what, what am I? Geography person. I don't know where people are from, do I? Geography person. Yeah. <laughs> Personal geographic. You're having one today, mate. Fair days. Yeah. Uh, Joe Sugg makes history on the chase. Won the highest amount in the solo round of questioning and I'm as in the celeb version of the game. Oh, no. Oh, well done, Sugmondo. Well done. Sugmondo is like, I don't know why I call him that. It's just been years. Mm. Suggy, Sugmondo. Mm. He's so cool. I like Joe Sugg. Yeah, he, he, he um, messaged me. I think it was him, wasn't it? He's with Zoella, right? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> no. That's jo Joe Sugg is Zoe Sugg's brother. Oh, you're well talking that's... about Alfie Davis. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but they're the they're same era. They're the same era. But that's I didn't fucking, watch you two. That's fucking hilarious. Sorry, Joe Sugg. Yeah, that's the one with Zoe, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they should have the same been mother. able to tell with the surname. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah didn't mean to. But yeah, we like Joe Sugg. We like Alfie. We like Zoe. Yeah, yeah. They've yeah. got new new baby, haven't they? They have. So I love the name. You like the name. Yeah, you like them lots. 
You, do you like it? I like it, but again, it's just like you love it. I you love, love it. stuff like that. You yeah. proper love. Do you know like what's that. annoying? I love all the names that they love because um, obviously they've got Ottilie, haven't they? And yeah. the top of my baby name list was Ottilie, but yeah. because they're both in the YouTube and saying Ethan's like, we can't do it. No, but I like Olive. Olive Ottilie Payne is like no. Nice. Yeah, but then so who was it? Alfie that had the yeah. baby. Alfie then messaged me because I put it on my story. I explained yeah. we couldn't call her Ottilie because you know they they did it <laughs> first. Um, so we went for Olive, and even mm. do you know what's funny? We was gonna call Otter like yeah. um Ottilie Olive, yeah. so it's gonna be the same. That's so funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we love them, and also who was it the other day? When they was like, oh, what's her name? We said Olive, and she was like, I feel like there's so many Olives now. Yeah, so Bro, rude. So there. Trust me, yeah. We started a trend. No, nah, let's not big it now because people no, will go, because, they think they influence the whole fucking country to ch- name well, their considering children. considering everyone in the comments is like, what kind of name is Olive? Still. This is what I'm saying, yeah, right? There was no Olive, pregnant, bro. I had pregnant women messaging me like, oh my God, you've made me change my mind. No. Stick to your little So now, list. apparently, in nurseries, yeah, there's Everyone's bare Olives. Everyone's going to be called Olive. There's bare Olives. Fucking rude, mate. <laughs> Have a little bit of creativity. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, baby names. Uh, I have no doubt that you'll probably come up with some more. Uh, do you know what? If if we find out it's a boy, yeah, I've already got a boy. What? Raffy. What the fuck is Raffy this? Payne. Lion King. Raffy Payne. That is that's so awful. Cool. No, that's cool. I love it, and it's Raffy happening. Payne. Yeah, I don't. Talk Dan, because when he sees this in the future... Bro's not seeing this. Bro's not called Raffi. You said this about... Bro's called though. Gary before he's called Raffi, you, mate. You, you said... R- Gary Payne is going to be a dart sensation. R-A-F-F-I. It's nice. Raffi Payne. It goes with the Essex accent as well. Come here, Raffi. That's awful, mate. That is barbaric. What's second? What? What's second choice? No, that's it. You right, didn't, yeah, you didn't you, like Olive. You, no, you had to I, come no, round to no, it. No, no, no. That was you the said, one. I don't even like no, Olive. No, that was the one because you had the fucking awful ones on there. Dorothea. And I said, yeah. Love that. What, you coming out with fucking I like old English great. names, although I do think Raffi is Raffi's not English. Raffi's so weird. Raffi's so weird. Uh, no, no child of mine is going to be called Raffi, so you're going to have to fix up with that one. No, no, no. What no, would you call not him? Not Raffi. But you've got no creativity. This is a problem, Victor. Gary. He don't bring no names to the table. Gary. He, he just waits until I bring up one that he likes. Yeah, Gary. No. Gaz. Sorry, I, Steve. I'm, I'm very much on the I grew it. Barry. I grew this child for nine months. I made every single part of their being. I grew their fingernails. I grew, um, grew the nose. I grew their toes. Dave. I have done everything and I have birthed this child. Dave. You. you Oi, Dave, dinner. All you did was bus in me. Dave, do you want to come pub? You don't, you don't get. I Dave, get like West Ham are on. Nine t- oh, it's in my mouth again. Dave, get, West Ham are on. Shut come up! On. <laughs> I get like 90% name rats. Uh, what else is like stereotypical geezer name? Yeah, you know, Steve. Steve. Yes, yeah, Steve. <laughs> Little newborn Steve. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Now I've held my newborn daughter, right? I don't know how. You know, there's like Steve's at like 60 now. I don't know how their mother ever looked at them and went, Steve. <laughs> it's such a brutal. Steve. Because they all picked out like five names back then. Steve. Didn't they? Jack. That was like at my secondary school, everyone's fucking Jack or Josh. Mm. Jack, Josh, Jack, Josh, Jack, mm. Josh. I'm a very original Ethan. I knew you was going to say that. Yeah, you, won't, you won't bump into many 29-year-old Ethans. Yeah? No, very rare. Whereas now, it's one of the fucking like, top popular names. There's not many faiths, to be fair. No, definitely not. Rude. If I was a second-born girl, I was going to be called Fern. I Phineas. love him. No, I said Fern. Brother called Phineas, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say Ferb, mate. I said Fern. It's just funny though, isn't it? No. <laughs> Uh, right, should we move on? Go on. Sure. All right. What is the best case of just because it's popular, it doesn't mean that it's good? Vape. So, for example, <laughs> yeah, vape. <laughs> for example, we have reality TV. You're a fucking oh, well, I'm a faith love shit TV. TV, mate. Recently, we've been, I, I've got nothing on Olivia Atwood because I think she's actually, she's a likable person. Uh, I don't think you could say otherwise, which is smite you. She, well, she can smoke I me think she she was. Boy you I, but I, I think she is a I think she's a likable person yeah. I, but the fucking programs are just poop hey I'm like I'm watching someone get a bum implant but you love it you eat it up you're yeah. like oh this is amazing yeah it's good it's yeah. good TV it's a good job that she does it because if it was anyone else it'd probably be really boring Oh yeah, mm. it'd be really bad. Yeah, I th- I think she's funny. She is yeah. funny. She's good. She's, she's good. good she makes she it watchable. Yeah, but 
my God, you like some shit TV. I feel like the only shit TV I like is Love Island. Do you know what's funny? Every time I go and get my nails done, I'm next to Ella Wise, who's from Towie as well. Oh, really? It's really funny. We're like, oh, fancy seeing you here. Oh. Every time, we just because we well, got our like nails friends. done at the same time, our infills are like at the exact same time. Are you friends? Nail yes, friends? friends yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh, well. Um, shit TV. That's proper shit TV, that. Hate it or love it, the underdog's on top. Why have you just busted into fucking 50 Cent? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, what's next? Those damn Stanley Cups. Oh, oh my I bought, God. I bought a new water bottle. I'm doing yeah, well. so Faith's got some gut issues at the minute, right? Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> Faith's got some gut issues, but I'm, just I, I'm convinced if she just fucking drunk her water, had some electrolytes, ate, ate some nice fucking meals, she'd be absolutely fine. But it's because she wakes up, she has a Red Bull and a Ripple, then won't eat till dinner, no water goes through her body, cups of, cups of coffee. Like, you just... You, well, I don't know how you survive. So... That's not a good thing to but, say with someone with health anxiety. But it? also, right, she's also got four Stanley Cups. Yep. I don't know why... They're heavy. Oh, I'm just a girl. And then I fill them up with water and they get even heavier. <laughs> so why did you buy four of them? I didn't. I got sent them. I didn't buy one of them. You did. Oh, That's so I bought one. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Because I wanted a beige one. But why did you want the Stanley Cup then? What's it, or did you just buy? I craze? just wanted a beige yeah, one. Yeah, because it's popular. I didn't like the colours. That's exactly why. Because it's popular and it doesn't mean it's that good. Also, but I got sent three ah, of them. Wait, and also they have been exposed for leaking lead into drinks. <gasps> Well, good thing I'm using my ten pound Amazon bottle then. That's probably leaking all kinds of plastic. What do you want me to do there? Glass, glass bottles are the best. No, because I don't like it. it's too cold. <laughs> I don't like the feeling. And sometimes, either way, sometimes that smells like dishwasher. Stanley cups, by the way, awful. Hey, the top two are like two of my irks: reality TV and Stanley cups. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Be original. All right, next up. Drake, guy hasn't put anything worth hearing in years. I've never liked that's, Drake. That's I've a lie, never though. ever been on a Drake. That's a lie. Yeah, I like it, the shake your ass one. Yeah, but bro, bro Kirks, this is the thing. I'll tell you what, he's a victim of his own success. This is the big issue, right? Bro has dominated for so fucking long, so long. He's been good for so long that he's a victim of his own success. No, I don't know about that. I like, I'm more essential seagull. Yeah. Uh, but that one's false I'm a Drake ride or die Central C could actually be on that list why well you thought he was overhyped for a while and now you like him no I thought his, some of the tunes that he first dropped were a bit too like ABC rappy mm. like yeah I went to English class and I wrote my essay mm. and it was a bit mm, I can't get into it but he's yeah. got better no he flows hard yeah he sort of he's got better uh, the answer is 100% TikTok I don't get the appeal for it from what limited I've seen of it it looks like a bunch of shite it is but it's also really you good shite stuff on there no you don't I would, I would say you, you don't learn stuff you, you get can. given depends some, what you like some tips or something but they're not, it's not all like true stuff but it's from what they said, it seems like a bunch of shite. It is a bunch of shite. Do you know what? But I it's thought fun of one. shite. I thought of one. Ugg. No, fuck. Crocs. <laughs> yeah, I like Uggs, but I meant to say Crocs. Crocs. Some people hate Crocs. You like I'm Crocs. a lover. You're a lover of Crocs. I'm a lover of an ugly shoe, though, aren't I? So why are you... Because I think to other people, they're like, Crocs are disgusting, but they no. probably think they're a trend. No, but that's a stigma. Have I misunderstood the, ins the assignment? Yeah, just because it's popular doesn't mean it's good. Crocs are good. Yeah. They're popular because they're good. They're brilliant pregnancy yeah. shoes. No, but so in, in when I was growing up in school, there was a Croc stigma. If you, Crocs were like mortifying. Oh, uh, Crocs weren't about when I was no, at school. No, okay. So yeah, when I was at school, Crocs had just burst onto the scene, right? Like young Mika Richards. Mm. They burst onto the, the scene. In primary school. <laughs> and if you got caught in Crocs, you're getting ridiculed. Whereas really? now they're cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you agree, disagree? What would you say? I'm trying to think of some others. Uh, you could say... Beer. Just because it's popular doesn't mean it's good. Oh, yeah. You, that's just because you like a fruity little drink, now. I like... No, but I like certain... Again, it has to be the scenario. Like, imagine London, hot summer. There's certain cold draft pints that are fucking delicious. When, delectable. When I used lovely. to work up London, yeah. um, back in my day, yes, I did work. I um, was out at London. People just think I've never done anything. Used yeah. to be a quantity surveyor. Not a very good one, but no, I still on my say. CV. Yeah. Anyways, um, so you used to go out with the boys yeah. after work, and I'd love a beer because yeah. it used to leave me on the streets at 4am 
basically sleeping rough, not knowing where I am, and relying on someone else to put me in a taxi home. Great. Really good advertisement there. That was really good. They just used send me sideways, and it's brilliant because you didn't <laughs> now, have to drink a lot yeah, of it. Yeah, beer, beer does go to your head. But what I'm saying is, is like, I think just your standard average beer. It ain't that nice. It yeah. has to be like a cold draft pint, right environment, right vibe. That was vibes. my pregnancy craving, isn't it? Which is odd because I actually don't really drink. Yeah, that. I had a corona on the deck in or something. I don't drink was like, like if, let me sniff it. Because I was like <laughs> seven months pregnant in like the height of summer mm. and it was like 35 degrees or something yeah. stupid to be that heavily pregnant in. Um, and he worked open like cold corona. I was like, oh my God, that mm. smells unreal. Yeah, I've pretty much completed dry January without even... Try it. Do you know what? I think that's an overhype as well. Just don't drink. Yeah, exactly. I, d- I, d- I don't so think. I don't think drinking's that hard. I was thinking about it I yesterday. I was like, December. "Oh my god, I've pretty much completed dry January for the first time ever." But that's just because I stopped drinking. Mm. I, I had two. I think maybe three drinks at Christmas, mm. and then that was it again. Mm. But I think major events like an engagement, uh, something. I'll probably have one or two out, but like, gonna drink at your stag do. My stag do. Probably, yeah. Are oh, you unfaithful bastard? Yeah, I'm going to go fucking crazy, mate. I'm going to get stripper's tits in my mouth. Probably be a, it'd probably be a male stripper's tits in my mouth, actually. That's That's make, that makes me not want to get engaged. Let, let's the fact be, let's that be you want to do a stag do, I don't want to get engaged. Let's be serious. Of course I'm going to do a stag do with the boys. Everyone's going to do one. Let's go together. <laughs> I'll bring the girls, you bring the boys. Just kind of the day. No. Uh, I can strip for you, daddy. <laughs> I'd rather a man's tits in my mouth. I want to feel naughty on that trip. I thought you were going to say, I want to feel something then. If you want tits in my mouth, I'm going to have so fun. No, uh, should we move on to something fun? We're mm-hmm. going to play a game. The world's toughest riddles. Oh, good Ooh. thing I'm a riddler. Are you a riddler? Uh-huh. I don't think you've got... I don't think, to be fair, you, you're all right at catchphrase. That's not really riddles, is it? But Put me up, catchphrase. Yeah, I'd like to play catchphrase. No, go away. I said it first. No, but well, I've been asking to do a sideman catchphrase for ages. I'm okay, sideman. I wouldn't do the actual one. Same. All right. Hello. Stop. <laughs> right. Apparently, these are some of the hardest riddles in the world. Can you answer them? Mm-hmm. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with wind. What am I? Sorry, what? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with wind. What am I? Come alive with wind. <laughs> no body, no mouth, no ears. <laughs> no it's body, hard, it's no hard mouth, for me no to ears. Keep it in my head without seeing yeah. it. I speak without a mouth. Mm-hmm. I hear with no ears. I have no body, but I come alive with wind. What am I? <laughs> I know. I don't know. <laughs> Wind is the wind is what would come alive with wind in my eyes, because everything moves when you have wind. But what causes that wind? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! We well, ain't got no answers. At least I'm ah, trying. This is mortifying. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you're now tuned into the two thickest people in the room. Uh, when there's only three of us here, well done, Proddy. <laughs> Makes him the smartest in the room. He is. <laughs> uh, well done. Right. I come alive with the wind. Yep. So in, I'm thinking. No ears, no mouth. I'm thinking wind turbines. They come alive with the wind, man. Uh, flags, uh, parachutes come alive with wind. Can we just have the answer? This yeah, sure. Right Do you want to skip the answer? All right, Bosh. It is an echo. Oh. I was never getting that, by no. the way. Like, never, ever, ever was What's I getting wind that. What's wind got to do with a fucking echo? <laughs> just need an empty hollow room. Okay, ready? Yep. Cool, I've got cross on in my teeth. Ignore that if you can see it. What is seen in the middle of March and April that can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month? Would you like me to repeat? Go on. What is seen in the middle of March and April that can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month? What do you think? Um... March, April, yep, so the next to each other. <laughs> beginning, oh, that can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month. Wait, no, it can be seen, no? Can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month. Right. Uh, why? What? Is that right? 
Why would you no. say why? No, it's not right. Read it again. Okay, because I was thinking May. <laughs> May, February. June. Right, okay. Read it again. I thought it would be the last letter. Read it again. What is seen in the middle of March and April that can't be seen in the beginning or end of either month? I think it's the letter R. That was wrong then. I. Well, you just fucking basically took my answer. You was never even going to think that way unless I thought there first. You said why, mate? Yeah. And you I said told fucking you, why? Yeah, and my brain f- thought process was it's a letter in the word. You, were, you said May. You just, they didn't even mention May in the question. Sorry for being... No, because May has a Y in it, donut. <laughs> so my thought process took you to investigate the letters. You was never going to be there otherwise. I'm aware, Proddy, but she's trying to downplay my achievements. Yeah, because you pretty much stole my answers. Got one. Mm -hmm. You measure my life in hours and I serve you by expiring. I'm quick when I'm thin and slow when I'm fat. The wind is my enemy. A dog. You haven't just said that, have you? Yep. You measure my life in hours and I serve you by expiring. I'm quick when I'm thin and slow when I'm fat. The wind is my enemy. A boat. You measure my life in hours. Things traditional. A baby. <laughs> the my baby is the 9,800 the... hours old. <laughs> the wind is my enemy in a pram. A candle. <laughs> I don't think that's the answer. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not going to answer in. it. So, yeah. It... Oh, it is a candle. Oh, well, there you go then. Oh, how'd you do that? Well, Proddy said no electricity. Oh, my true, first thought yeah, yeah, went yeah. to a candle. Oh, well, <laughs> well, Ethan didn't get it. So, you've got to give me some credit. No. Some people are slower than slow. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? So, I'm not going to lie. I won't even listening. <laughs> So, some people are just slower than slow. It's not that I'm slow, I just don't really listen sometimes. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? An empty country. An empty country? Mm hmm. Sure. A ghost town. Abandoned, abandoned city. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. <laughs> I am. Um, I have no water, but no fish. <laughs> I have. Uh... Stop looking into my brain, trying to steal my answers. I know what you're doing. I'm not. He's actually such a cheater. <laughs> you said fucking why, mate. <laughs> I gave you the answer. You I literally set you up for that you answer didn't. to investigate the fucking letters. You're right. I'm on Facebook all the time. I see stuff like this. Do you? Yeah. All right, go on. What gets wetter as it dries? A towel. Yeah, only because I did that with you like two months ago. You didn't. I did. Uh, come on, give me an answer for this one then. <laughs> I have cities but no houses. I have mountains but no trees. I have water but no fish. What am I? Right, let me just think about this. So you've got cities, no houses. So you're just an empty bit of land. You've got mountains and no trees. Again, you're just an empty bit of land then. Bumpy bit of land. And then you've got water with no fish. You're a sea. Without fish, no. You're a, you're a pond. You're a river. You are a, uh, you are a pipe. You are a piping system. <laughs> you are a plumber. <laughs> you're a sewer. You're a sewer. All uh, right, should we just give up? Yeah. Sure, all right. The, the answer was a map. Fuck's sake. Oh, boring, boring, That makes sense boring. to be fair. Boring. That does make boring, sense. Boring, boring, boring. Do you know who needed a map? Who? Oh. You to get here today. Because what did I do? Oh, nice segue, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> we we dropped Olive off at uh, Faith's parents. Yep. So they're looking after her. And uh, Faith drove today because my car is currently being customised. But I Getting will... it wrapped, baby. Yeah, and a kit put on it. Yeah. So it's going to look real nice when uh-huh. it's back. But that's going to be like three weeks' time. So... Faith had to drive because it's got a baby seat and the dogs had to go as well. Well, uh, essentially, I just, I drove and took my car. Yeah, you drove and took your well, car. You don't then, need all the waffle then, of what but, goes inside it. Yeah. Leaving, uh, <laughs> all right, chill. <laughs> uh, but then leaving from 
Faye's parents, we get like fucking five minutes down the road and Faye's like, oh, I really, I really don't want to drive. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. I don't want to drive. So we had to pull I'm over tired. and I had to start driving the car. Yeah. And Ethan was like, so when we left my mum's, I was like, oh, are you actually can make me drive? And he was like, yeah, I'm tired too. So we, yeah, got had a night six from hell. Minutes, we got six minutes down the road and he was like, you really don't want to drive? And I was like, babes, my mind, mind is, I just want to watch TikToks <laughs> in the front seat. That's I want to do what you're doing. I want to take yeah. my shoes off and watch TikToks. And plus, I'm not that confident driving into London, but I'm okay driving out of it. Yeah. Like, I don't know why it's just different. I'm not a fan of driving into London, whereas that's your roots. Yeah. You know London. Yeah. You're good at, You're good with London. Um. So he was like, it's okay, I'll drive. So you ended I did six minutes and then Ethan took over. Yeah. A passenger princess you in my own car. You are a passenger princess in your own vehicle. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Um, well, yeah. Are you going to make me drive back? Yes. Oh, I'm too tired. Just shut up. <laughs> I do. I do actually need glasses to drive and I don't have them. So. Right. Well. At your own risk. Anyway, uh, we're going to bid you farewell and hopefully that we stay alive on this journey home because Faith uh, nearly killed us in the back of a bus on the way here as well. No, I didn't. Uh, you did when? actually. Yeah, it was crazy. When? I was get scared for my life. The bus didn't fucking move and we didn't almost crash. <laughs> Don't even start spreading rumours. <laughs> there was actually no near collision. Not at all. Not Take that at back. All. Take yeah. that back. Uh, cool. You're uh, a liar. Right. You know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time. Subscribe if you are watching on YouTube. Like this video if you're watching on YouTube. Have that look at your cool liar. That would be. That's what Georgia Steele is, mate. That's what you that's are. That's what she is. She is being a naughty pig on that Love Island. I will tell mm -hmm. you what, she is being proper naughty pig. She is. Yeah, naughty pig. Uh, like the video. That's what he calls me when my name's in bed. Yeah, you naughty Go on, little oink pig. For me. <laughs> oink. No. Do it. No. Please. No. Please. Stop looking left. That's not nice. Look just because just because people were like, "Oh, that was really good." You're gonna start using it over and over again. I've actually used it so many times. Like yeah. my own it's just this is the time you got clout for it. No. Yeah. It's right. just my own insult. Uh, you're ruining my sphinx way right now, bro. Like and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. We would really appreciate that. Like the video, we'd really appreciate that. Follow me on Instagram. Fuck off. If you are <laughs> listening on any audio platform, whatever it may be, please like, rate, follow, rate it five stars, do all of that good jazz. It's been a pleasure. Um, follow us on Growing Pains at Insta. <laughs> Insta, Growing Pains Insta. Yep. Uh, and if, you, if you want a grand, you if you want some behind Revolut. the scenes pickies, because we're doing like carousel pickies now yep. of like things that happen through the week that you might not see on a normal basis. I don't know. And yeah, mate, see you in a bit. That was fucking awful. So was your fucking answer about the riddle. Can we say goodbye? Yeah. Now look down the lens and wave. Bye.